fucking country and go welcome with open arms so they can build a better life than listen to us. If you were part of a union or working class people who were allowed to build a better life in the middle class in America, you fucking listen to us. Because if you're out there buying those fucking hats that these swindlers are selling at that fucking fair, I'm sorry kids, I know there's kids here, <laughs> then you're part of the problem and I'll tell you why, because you're being duped by the greatest swindler in the history of the world. You're being duped by a bunch of grifters and billionaires who don't give a shit about you or your family. The Dropkick Murphys have had enough and let it all out at a recent show. They care about their fucking tax breaks and the money they can put in their pocket. If you consider yourself a patriot and you're spouting off that election denying shit, I will fight your ass outside if you want to. Amen to that, brother. Represented America probably, but it's been co opted by the fucking Jan Sixes, right? We the people, okay? So we want to offer a very special deal tonight. If you get any of that bullshit, fucking let's go Brandon or fucking make America great or that orange hit, fuck. If you trade it in and not merch death, you get a free t shirt. Just like this son, this guy over here. God bless your heart. God bless your open-minded heart, you know what I mean? Remember the video of neo-Nazi Richard Spencer getting socked in the face? Well, guess what? The Dropkick Murphys can relate. At a show in New York City circa 2013, a fan at their Terminal 5 show went up on stage along with many others. They were invited. However, one a-hole allegedly threw up a Nazi salute. Thus, the bass player for the Murphys got a few licks in. The Hollywood Reporter would write at the time, from bloggers who took it in, a large man with a shaved head began to flash the Nazi salute, with a bent arm shooting straight out from the chest. Founding bassist singer Ken Casey moved toward the guy, shoved him aside, and began a pile-on that ended half a minute later with a torn shirt and one less skinhead on stage. He took back the microphone and screamed, Nazis are not effing welcome at a dropkick Murphy show. And the crowd went wild. Here is then Republican gubernatorial candidate Scott Walker, who's in the process of letting out a silent but deadly, or an SPD as I like to call it. Walker, a notorious Republican kook, used the dropkick Murphys' music once upon a time at a campaign event in Iowa. Thus the band would tweet, at Scott Walker, please stop using our music in any way. We literally hate you. Love Dropkick Murphys. In March of this year, the Associated Press reported the Dropkick Murphys are hitting back against a neo-Nazi group that used one of the rock band's songs in a video posted on social media. The rowdy rockers from Boston condemned the use of the song The Boys Are Back in a tweet, while the band's attorney sent a cease and desist letter to the group as well as to the platform that shared the video. After calling them losers, the band wrote, Stop using our song for your little dress-up party video we will smash you in response to a tweet from a man who confronted the group at south boston's saint patrick's day parade they were also as i've seen some lists being concocted in the top 25 most political bands of all time they have been doing this for a while and to see them continue this and make their voice heard a sight to behold